I think it's a, I can't read the writing. Oh, let's keep going. We're talking about this. Oh, I'm just we're talking about what I'm I ripping say. off of. Yeah, this is not good at this. Uh, I'm being honest. <laughs> <laughs> Happy week of brunches. I'm Bailey Minogue. and I'm Adam, and this it's is too, too much, much for brunch. <laughs> I googled the pros of being judgmental, and apparently that's not a thing. Not there. There's just so many instances where being judgmental is not only normal, but just makes sense. Like, there's nothing wrong with not fucking putting salt in an open wound because, like, you know better. Every now and then, it's a little too politically correct to the point that you're not being authentic with yourself. If you're not in this practice of always like sparing people's feelings with the truth, it makes you a more honest person. I would rather have a bunch of me asshole people for friends than a bunch of people who won't tell me when I'm being crazy. Like my best friend Aaron and Andrea will absolutely tell me if I'm serving nonsense. I want to give you what you need and usually that's the truth. Especially when there are people who care about you, like your friends, who want to see your best. Your best anything. Like if, if I don't look my best, fucking tell me I don't look my best. Right. If my shoes are hideous, you tell me that my shoes are hideous. Yes, that may be considered as being judgmental, but I think there is a lot of negative stigma attached to that. I mean, sometimes being judgmental is just about having standards. And what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with having standards. A lot of people are too quick to let things go and let things slide. If you have that mentality, you carry that, whether it's your work life, your personal life, or anything else. A really good part of being an honest person is people won't just walk up to you with unnecessary shit. Like, people aren't gonna come to me if, if they don't want to actually hear the actual truth. You know, you're not gonna call me That's and be like, true. you're not gonna be like, Bailey, my boyfriend did this, that, and third. I'm gonna give you my actual opinion. And if people know, that you're honest, you want to deal with that. And I think it's a great part of being like who I am. People don't talk to me about dumb shit because they know, no bro, like I'm just, I'm not here for any of that. But that's probably like the best part of being judgmental is that people know you're judgmental and people know you're honest and they just won't ask you stupid questions. They'll save that bullshit for their friends who are gonna like wipe their asses for them and that is not my steez, like I don't do any of that. Now when I say that I have my two close friends, we have this ongoing group text message and we just talk because they know I'm an honest person, like we can talk about whatever. And I know that these two people are my friends and I can talk to them about anything. And I don't have to hide anything right. and any like dumb shit that either one of them brings to me, I can be like, that's really stupid. Right. And I love you to pieces. Right. I think it depends on the personality of the friend too. Like, I know that there's one friend I have who I can guarantee you, anything I can say behind his back, I can say to his face. It's amazing because we, we're like literally just Brutal. It's like we're like the, the bitch friends to each other, but you know that you're going to get the honest opinion from somebody who really does have your best interests at heart. Relationships don't go well when you're dating someone if you're not honest. It's the same thing with friendships. If you want to find your tribe and you want to make your friends, you have to be like your most honest, authentic self. Right. And if you're always worried about like who you're going to upset or like, oh, I don't like her shirt, but if I tell her I don't like it, she's not going to like me. Well, maybe that bitch should know her shirt is ugly. I'm sorry. Your shirt is hideous and I hate you. You're tacky and I hate you. <laughs> we all have long days, long weeks, long months. Just sort of telling it like it is to someone, whether it's the person who's causing the issue or even a trusted friend, colleague, whatnot, it lets off steam. It's very liberating, you know? Because who gives a fuck? How people respond to me is not my problem. How you interpret what I say is not my problem. If I'm not being mean and I'm just like, hey, this is what happened, and you're all like in tears about it, like that's not my fault, that's your fault. Since I moved to Texas especially, people are always like, oh, you're so mean. And people are always like, oh, you're from New York, you're from New York. I hear that like twice a day. He's from New York. Oh, I'm sorry, he's from New York. Like, bitch, I know where I'm from. <laughs> it's like, you don't have to tell people where I'm from. And I'm a very confident person. I couldn't imagine what it would be like to spend every day worrying about like how people are going to perceive me. It's awful, but you do have to play a game. Okay. Well, yeah, but depending on the world you live in, depending on the people you're with, I don't know why that's quotation marks, but, but literal people actually, you do have to sometimes play that game. And so when you can finally just tell it like it is to somebody, you feel a bit more human again and you feel a bit more authentic again. Yeah. And it's not a matter of trying to bring everybody down by being judgmental. Because that's what people always say to me. Like, yeah. like you're just, oh, you're killing the mood. Like, no, I'm no, not no, being no. honest. If you it's were all not. a little more honest with each other, 
<laughs> we all get along a lot better. And I'm doing a bad job. Fucking tell me I'm doing a bad job. This is like when you like told me that my outro sucked for the show. I said, you know, I hate I was mad at you for saying it because I worked really hard on it. But upon revisiting it, I realized it was kind of hideous. It is better now, but like you told me it was better now and I changed it. Because I care. And it I wasn't like, to be mean. And honestly, it looks a lot better. Understand it. Are they your arch nemesis? No, they're a friend of yours or they're a colleague and you're on the same team or, and you're trying to achieve the same ultimate goal. And there's nothing wrong with that. You learn from your mistakes. You see a red flag when it's a red flag. You call a spade a spade. Right. This is nonsense. Right. I don't have to deal with this. You know, you know your worth and you add some taxes, okay? You know, you get your shit together and you, 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 you get it together. <laughs> you, just, you just get your shit together. And, and once people have the confidence to just say, like, I'm not gonna deal with this, right. be it at work, boyfriend, parent, you just say, like, this, I'm not here for it, then you come find me where I'm gonna be. I think that saves everybody the trouble, including that person who you're basically saying no to. A no to you is a yes to myself. There's nothing wrong with being like, this is shenanigans and I don't listen to the radio. I'm not here for it. And use those, what's the, what's the, um, judge a book by its cover. Like that right. is a, yes. that is a real thing. Let me tell you something. You judge books by their cover. Everybody judges a book by their cover. Girl. By its cover. Yes. That's they real do. life. They do. <laughs> like that's real normal I everyday mean, life. You try not to and you try to look beyond that. I, I will try to look beyond that. So, you know what? Present your cover. Let your cover be something you can be judged by. Edit. Comment below here. Join the conversation with us. For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to Bunch of Brunch. <laughs> I will see you next weekend with more brunch. Bye. Bye.